On a quiet day in the Santa Clarita neighborhood, two men work to keep the area looking clean. We take great pride in that when residents stop us, hey, thank you so much for the type of work you do. And so for us, it's, you know, we feel a sense of pride, like, hey, like we're a part of that. It's not an easy job keeping the street free of taggings. You know, it really does depend on the, uh, the surface it's on, the type of spray paint used for the vandalism. In recent years, vandalism has hit cities hard, but in many ways, you would never notice it here. We have a graffiti team that goes and responds to calls that get reported from residents, uh, and our job is to go out there and remove it immediately. In many cases, it's here one moment and gone the next. On average, a call comes in and results in graffiti being removed in the first 24 hours. But this team likes to knock it out in the first 15 to 30 minutes. That's because there's a danger to leaving it up for too long. It kind of promotes other people to go out and do more tagging, knowing that it's going to stay up longer. So our job is to remove it as soon as it gets reported. So we deter any people from going out there and possibly doing more graffiti. They've cleared tens of thousands of tags in the first few years. The numbers may seem daunting, but they tackle them one by one, spray by spray, wipe by wipe. Yeah, they're not always big and glamorous, but just about taking pride in the community you live in. For Canyons News, I'm Lauren Hanna.